Thank you, Sarah. Let's take a view from four different camera shots right here. We have Monroe at the top left hand side there. Just a few fair weather clouds. Top right hand side Dallas. That's our tower cam. You can see just about everything this morning. Uh, Lake Norman looking OK in Kannapolis. It's uh, just a few fair weather clouds and so not a bad start at all to the morning. When you see 10, that means unlimited visibility. So we're not really looking at any foggy situations out there today. Uh, nothing like that. 70 degrees, our current temperature in the Queen City, the dew point in the upper 60s. That makes it pretty muggy out there. Winds are light about 5 miles per hour from the north northwest. It's 64 at Jefferson and West Jefferson in the mountains. It's 70 at Chester down there in South Carolina. That's back to Greensboro. 69 at Shelby. It's uh, 69 as well in places like Wagesboro and Monroe and Rock Hill and 70 right here in the Queen City with light winds and just a few fair weather clouds. Dew points upper 60s, low 70s, making it a muggy start to morning. As far as any rainfall, some very light rain uh, just to the east of Asheville. Otherwise, pretty tranquil. We'll see, kind of zoom in and show you across Charlotte Metro area. No rain or storms. Turned out to be a decent day yesterday. Didn't have any major problems out there. A drop off temperatures uh, for the kids at the bus stop or heading to school today. 7 a.m., upper 60s, low 70s, around, around 9 o'clock. On the way home, picking them up at the uh, at school, it's going to be in the uh, low 80s between about 3 and 5. Storm chance increases late afternoon into early evening. Take a look at the uh, cloud picture, the tropical satellite uh, shot right here. We are looking at uh, two hurricanes. One kind of still meandering around there in the north central Atlantic and yet another just to the south of Bahamas. So we keep an eye on Hurricane Earl and take a look at the track of Hurricane Earl. It pretty much skirts close to Bermuda. Uh, winds right now sustained at 80 gusting to about 100 miles per hour, but eventually heads more, I would say almost in the same direction as Danielle and uh, will certainly not meet up with her, but not a threat to the United States at all. That is the good news. And Danielle is just kind of meandering around in the Atlantic Ocean and then takes this dramatic turn to kind of just he goes, what am I going to do? Well, I think maybe, maybe I'll eventually hit up. This is next Monday morning, 7 a.m. as a tropical storm, and that will be headed almost on a beeline towards Spain in Europe. So we'll keep an eye. That has no threat at all to us. Nothing threatening about our forecast for the morning hours. 10 a.m. We're about 77 degrees under fair skies right in the middle of the afternoon, mid to upper 80s today. We did make it to 90 yesterday, by the way. Uh, chance of rainstorms around 5 o'clock, I would say between about 5 and 7. 30 to 40 percent chance of a couple of pop up thunderstorms out there. Popping on that seven day forecast, upper 80s today. We'll hit about 84 dry weather tomorrow. More of the same on Friday. And then for the weekend, unfortunately, we've got so much going on. Uh, we've got Yasu, the Greek festival going on this weekend. Uh, Holy Trinity there on East Boulevard. We got the uh, uh, game at Bank of America Stadium on Saturday. Some soccer action there. And then Home opener for the Panthers. Bank of America Stadium Sunday. Have the rain gear handy. Remember, no umbrellas. Have the ponchos. And then we do see another chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday next week. We're in the low 80s both days. By the way, the average high this time of the year is 85 degrees.